you ever wondered how to start eating a plant-based diet? Should you take the plunge, or your house and just go for it, or should you lean in? I'm going to talk about those two options today. I'm Shelly. This is our ex Shelly Peters, the place to embrace the plant-based life. Welcome everybody. I am excited because I'm going to talk today about whether you should lean into this plant-based life or you should take the plunge. Um, I have to tell you the truth, I actually did both um, in my life. I leaned in for a few years and then I took the plunge. I'll give you a little bit of background um, about my journey. Uh, I have a nursing background, so um, early on I was pretty much a health nerd and my exposure to really sick patients in my nursing career made me start to stop and think, you know, I think that maybe there are a lot of health habits that people are missing that would make a huge impact on their on their health, on the on the outcome of their of their life really and their disease processes. I really became interested in disease prevention. Because ultimately, it's wonderful. Technology and, and medicine today is absolutely phenomenal. And they can treat amazing things. But ultimately, don't we want to prevent the disease in the first place? That's certainly the um, route I want to take. So I really became obsessed with disease prevention. And I couldn't get enough information about how best to lead my life. What health practices do I need to be um, establishing? so that I'm going to avoid getting those, you know, common chronic diseases that are so prevalent today. Heart disease, obesity, diabetes, things that clearly are impacted by what we eat and how we live. So I actually did start doing a lot of research on, on exercise first, and I have really exercised most of my life, but I, I decided I would really start, um, you know, exercising regularly and taking more, uh, interest in making sure that it became a priority. But as I did my research, I became aware that you can't exercise away a bad diet. So pretty soon I realized, really, you know what? Maybe the first thing I need to be really focusing on is what I'm eating. So that's what I did. I dove into everything from T. Colin Campbell's The China Study to um, Dr. Michael Greger's How Not to Die book, which I love the title of and Dr. Uh, Caldwell Esselstyn's How to Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease. These are some of the, I, I read a ton of books, but these are some of the, the early books that I read that really started making me think, wait a minute, I think I need to, need to be eating a plant-based diet. This makes absolute scientific sense to me. It's, these are evidence-based books that are you know, showing clearly that eating a plant-based diet is, is a huge benefit to long-term long -term health. So I started in that journey and started cooking and um, eating a little bit more plant-based. And of course, at one point in my life, I had the privilege of living in Singapore. And what an amazing experience it was for a whole bunch of reasons. But a big one was my exposure to the most amazing South Asian cuisine. And it made me realize not only could I eat a plant-based diet, or would I want to eat a plant-based diet for health, I could eat one that tasted amazing. I, I built my skills with a walk, I became more um, uh, interested in curries, and the flavors and the spices of Asia just absolutely were intoxicating. And that really, that experience in Singapore, arguably the mecca of, of uh, South Asian cuisine, um, was really a game changer for me. And uh, when I moved back to Canada, it's really when I decided I would take the plunge. And I was going to take my the cooking skills I built in Asia, and I actually took a, plant, a professional plant-based cooking course as well. And those two things combined really made me um, you know, capable of creating dishes that were plant-based and were literally so delicious that my friends were asking for recipes and they weren't plant-based at all. So that was, you know, a really cool experience for me and uh, really took me from leaning in over the years of doing research and, and, and that sort of thing to um, taking the plunge and calling myself a plant eater and, um, you know, and, and deciding that was it. I was going to do my utmost 
to eat a plant-based diet every day. Now, just one little caveat. What I want you to remember is when you start, it's all about progress, not perfection. Um, it's not about being perfect. It's about continuing to get better and better at leading this life and finding ways to manage going out to eat, eating with relatives, refusing your mother's uh, uh, you know, uh, lemon meringue pie, all those things that really took me a number of years to get under my belt. Just one little caveat I will make. I, for the last two years of my 11 years of plant-based eating, I am now a whole food, plant-based, no added oil eater. And um, it's, to me, the pinnacle of how um, I I we should be eating for our health. Uh, it took me a number of years to get to this place because I needed to experiment, I needed to find my feet, I needed to figure it out. What, whatever you decide to do, whether you decide to take the plunge, go full whole food, plant-based, no added oil, or you're just going to lean in, trust me, you're making an excellent health decision. And let things unfold, you'll find your way quicker than you realize, and you're just going to continue to make good health decisions. which. Um, which is so exciting because I don't know about you, but I want to be that 90 year old that people are saying, what? You're still hiking and what's with the twinkle in your eye? So uh, I hope you uh, decide to do one of either plunge, plunge, take the plunge or lean in because either way, it's an excellent decision. So I have 10 tips for how to lean in, five tips for how to plunge. Let's dive right in. Leaning in. What you're going to want to do is watch some documentaries just to get yourself, a, you know, a little bit more aware of what's going on in the plant world. Netflix has a ton of them. A couple that come to mind right away are um, the ones that I particularly liked were What the Health and the Forks Over Knives documentaries. They're really powerful, but again, there are lots of them. Dive in, um, grab your family and friends, uh, do this with a, with, with a friend or a partner. And uh, hey, why don't you grab a plant-based meal, um, get, get a plant-based um, pizza, and make it a um, movie pizza night, and, um, and watch the documentaries. The second thing I think you should do is you should read. Read as much as you can. Um, what I would recommend you getting first, and instead of going to the library for this one, I would purchase it, is the How Not to Die cookbook. Dr. Michael Greger is my number one guru in this uh, plant-based um, journey of mine. He is, uh, he, he's the founder of nutritionfacts.org. If you haven't got a subscription to that website and his important evidence-based um, research that he, uh, he actually looks at all the evidence-based research that's being produced around the world and gives us the best possible advice on health. He walks the talk, he's funny, his videos are uh, sarcastic and they're short. They're about five minutes long. He's an incredible library of videos that you can look at and find whatever topic that you're looking for. So getting back to reading, that's How Not to Die book. I bought it for a whole bunch of friends that I love because I want my friends around with me uh, being healthy and eating healthy. So I bought it for a whole bunch of my friends for Christmas a couple of years ago. The China Study is a good one and how to reverse and prevent uh, heart disease is another one by Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn. I have, I will link these books in the description box below. I would also, for number three, I would also start cooking. I would start cooking plant-based meals. Um, there are lots of people online that are cooking you can get tips from. Uh, there are great cookbooks out there. You get recipes from my website at shellypeters.com, uh, but there's lots out there that you can, you can draw from. Start dabbling in cooking. Number four is get the Daily Dozen app, which is free, and it's from Dr. Michael Greger. It will give you um, a fantastic tool to use so that you are aware of what the, you ultimately want to be eating in a day. It's a really, really good app. It's really simple to use. Again, don't be overwhelmed by all of this. Uh, start walking towards um, a full, whole food, plant-based diet. You don't have to be perfect. Just get started. Number five, start making one meal a day um, a plant-based meal. Choose whichever one will work for you. Maybe you want to make it lunch. Maybe you want to make it dinner. Uh, whatever it is, start by changing one of the meals that you eat to a plant-based meal. Number six, begin replacing the animal products in your house with plant-based products. Um, maybe you've got 
uh, you know, uh, animal-based mayonnaise. You could go to a plant-based mayonnaise. Hellman's has an incredible mayonnaise out there. Number seven, find local restaurants that will either accommodate plant-based eating or there are some amazing vegan restaurants out there that I would highly recommend that you try a look in your neighborhood. I'm sure you'll find lots of them. Number eight is beginning a Sunday prep routine. Um, where if you follow me, you know this is a huge part of your success, is taking a couple of hours on a Sunday. I happen to choose Sunday. Maybe you're going to choose a different day. And preparing some basic ingredients and basic meals in your fridge that's going to take you through the week, make plant-based eating easy, and it's going to be a, literally be a game changer for you and your life will just become simple and easy. You'll know what you're eating. It, I actually not only do a Sunday prep routine, I also teach how to, you, how to create a menu, um, a grocery list, and then to actually plan that Sunday prep routine. When you first start in your Sunday prep routine, you just start small. You don't have to do two hours worth. Maybe you just make, uh, I, I create something called a salad bin so that creating a salad out of your fridge will literally take you five minutes, um, either to take to work or to create for a dinner. And I teach people how to do that. Even if you just start with, with creating the salad bin and, and, the, and um, a whole food plant-based dressing, um, that would be um, a, a great way to start. Um, obviously, I've been doing this Sunday prep for years, so I've you know got it pretty well nailed down, and I will again be you know putting out lots of videos on how to do that because I really think it's a it's a critical piece of of your success. Number nine is get uh, it might be fun to get baseline blood work done. Check your cholesterol, your triglycerides, um, check your weight. When you decide to eventually take the plunge, you can go ahead and get the blood work done again and you'll see some amazing results. My doctor told me that she thinks my blood work should be uh, framed and hung in the house. So that's kind of exciting. And I am determined to get my cholesterol cardiac proof and um, I'm excited that because uh, I'm eating a whole food plant-based no added oil diet, that is absolutely um, in the cards for me. So number 10, the final uh, suggestion I have for leaning in would be to take a whole food plant-based cooking course. I actually teach a course, an introductory course in Oakville, Ontario. You can sign up on my website at ShellyPeters.com. You can just take one online. There are lots of little cooking courses that you can take online. And I also took the professional plant-based cooking course called Ruby, R-O-U-X-B-E. I'll put the link below in the, in the description box. And it, was, it, was, it just took my cooking from you know, pretty good to amazing. So, so I was really happy I did that. All right, so those are the 10 ways you can lean in. Let me give you a quick five ways to take the plunge. First of all, of course, you will complete numbers one to seven of leaning in and number seven to 10 of leaning in. Check the description box. I've got all the leaning in um, uh, tips um, listed below. Um, then what you're gonna wanna do if you're gonna take the plunge is you're going to wanna purge your house. You're going to wanna get everything out so your new life can begin. It, it actually has a psychological effect on you. It feel you feel more motivated. You feel um, you know determined that you're going to figure this out. You get rid of all the junk food, all the animal products, and you restock with stuff that is just going to be crazy next level healthy and going to make you feel amazing. Um, number three is you're going to start eating oats for breakfast, salad for lunch. If you follow my way of eating, and a, a plant based. Um, a whole food plant-based dinner. You're going to snack on whole foods. You're going to have a fruit for dessert. And that's if you're going to follow my way of eating. Fifth thing that I need you to, I want you to do is I want you to start journaling. Um, take, making a transition to anything, this is, is monumental. Um, and I think it's really important to journal. I journal every morning for about a half an hour. And I just explore how I'm feeling, how things are going, how my health habits are lining up. And it's just a way to explore this transition and what it's gonna be for you. Because ultimately, you're going to uncover the ways that you use comfort foods to numb feelings. You're going to you know, uncover some, some struggle that you're gonna have giving up foods that are um, addictive, like cheese and uh, fats, high fat, high salt, high sugar foods. 
And it's important that you explore those feelings and uncover what, how you can meet your needs for the, uh, you know, when you uncover, the, when you explore the feelings, you can uncover the needs that, you're, that are unmet and you can meet those. I actually sell a kit um, on my website, shellypeters.com, called the RX Empathy Kit, and it helps to fully explore um, those feelings if you want to do that. But just make sure you journal. Journal how you're feeling. Journal your progress. Journal your frustration. It's important. Okay, and number six is, or sorry, number four, I, I'm, I'm trying to read my list and, and the numbers are hidden. So um, the second to last thing, is, or actually the fifth, it is the fifth, celebrate your success and feel good about the decision you've made. Um, it's not about perfection, it's about progress, and I'm so proud of you for deciding to do this. I'm telling you, it is a game changer. I will never go back to eating anything but a whole food plant-based diet. I know the science backs what I'm doing. It's great because so does the Canadian Food Guide now. They caught up to, to what the science is saying and so I'm really, really excited about that. So let's see, so in conclusion, uh, you know, listed below, I've got the 10 ways you can lean in, the five ways that you can take the plunge. Uh, I want this for you. This is um, an important health uh, habit to develop, is a whole food plant-based diet. So thanks for joining me. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss anything. I post every week uh, and I have, uh, I'm on Instagram and Facebook as well. So go grab yourself a fantastic day and good luck with your journey.